Series is a household name. Need to stick some pictures up? Blue Tack. Compact Executive Car, 3 Series. That kind of instant association. So, here is Motor One's guide to the things we like, the things we don't like, and the best specification when making your choice. The 3 Series is rear wheel drive as standard, or you can get it with four wheel drive in the X Drive models. Now, they are understandably popular given the all weather capability, and they are still really fun and feel really pointy. However, we would definitely stick with rear wheel drive because they're usefully cheaper and they're still really grippy and they're actually a bit more fun to drive because they just feel a bit lighter and more nimble really. That's why a lot of people still buy a 3 Series is for that fabled handling entertainment. Now, the only thing to bear in mind is that you really should add adaptive dampers. Thankfully, they're not a drastically expensive option, but they do really improve the ride and handling balance. So as long as you've got that included, then you're going to get a car that is both comfortable and really good to drive. There is literally an engine for everyone in the 3 Series. Everyone. If you're not bothered about it going fast, 316D. If you want something furiously fast and intense, M3. Even more affordable, but still fast, 330D. Perhaps you want a hybrid, there's one of those as well. Maybe you want a lower end petrol model, 320i. If you can't find an engine that suits you in the 3 Series range, there isn't a car out there for you. This car that we are driving is the 320D, which of course is company car Heartland, and rightly so, because it's got really good pace, it's quite vigorous, it feels really quite fast on the public road. However, if you are looking for something with a bit more poke, then I have to say the 330D is just an absolute joy, the six-cylinder engine is great, so if you're not kind of hamstrung by company car tax, then do think about that. One final thing to note is get an automatic gearbox. The 8-speed auto is well worth the money because it just completely transforms how easy it is to live with this car. It's really smooth, suits all of the engines, and it just makes the car fantastic to drive. It's definitely worth the money. There is nothing really wrong with the dashboard on the 3 Series, but it's just it's a bit uninspiring, really. It's all quite logically laid out, and as long as you add the upgraded sat-nav, then you get quite a nice screen as well. Um, you can even get digital dials if you want, but it just feels a bit old now, especially compared to the Audi A4, which we would say has the best interior in the class, and even the C-Class's interior actually looks a bit swankier than the BMWs, so it's definitely not the best out there. There is plenty of room in the back of the 3 Series for two people, so it's likely to suit your purposes absolutely fine, but I would say it's probably a little bit less head and leg room than you might expect and you have to pay extra to get folding rear headrest so you get better visibility out of the back of the car, a central rear armrest, and even split folding rear seats cost you extra. Once you have added all of that, you still don't have a terribly practical car because it's a saloon, so you have this slightly narrow aperture. Anyway, let's face it, if you're that worried about space and practicality at this price in the market, you're probably gonna buy a Skoda Superb, right? The core 3 Series models are all about company car users, and they do the tax cost really well. For a 320D ED and a 40% tax pair, it'll cost around £240 per month in big tax, or the standard, more powerful 320D auto is around £290, which is massively competitive with its rivals. Or, if your company will allow it, the 330E plug-in hybrid is expensive on this price, but it costs less than £110 per month in tax. Of course, it is not all fleet stuff. If you're buying on PCP Finance, or even buying outright, pretty much any 3 Series is still going to be really good on purchase and running costs, particularly the 320D. The 3 Series, then, is a great car, and it does kind of everything you could want of it, really, and a little bit more. So, while it's not flawless, we would say it's definitely worth your cash, and therefore it is a Motor 1 buy. The BMW 3 Series is a mighty, mighty thing, but so much choice can be really daunting. From engine to dynamics to trim options, and there's loads to choose from with the BMW. Things only really start to shine from the 320D and up, so even if you're trying to save a bit of money, we would go for the rear-wheel drive 320D. In terms of trims, we would avoid SE because it doesn't even get leather upholstery. Go for M Sport, which is the one everybody wants anyway because it gets the big wheels and the body kit. On top of that, you are going to want a few choice options, including the professional media system, which gets the widescreen nav, 
You're going to want the interior comfort pack, which gets a split folding rear seat, heated front seats and a sliding front central armrest. You are also going to want electric lumbar adjustment for the driver and, if you can, full electric adjustment for the seats because the manual adjustment is a right fat. We would go for the nice bright esteral blue of our test car just because it's safe for your residuals and it's just much more interesting than standard grey, black or white. Do you agree with us that the 3 Series is still one of the best executive cars out there? Do you own one? Are you thinking of buying one? Well, let us know in the comments below. Click like on the video while you're there and hit subscribe on our YouTube channel.